Hosea 13, 7, 8 reads, So I will be like a lion to them, like a leopard I will lurk by the path, like a bear robbed of her cubs I will attack them and rip them open. Like a lion I will devour them, a wild animal will tear them apart. In these verses, the prophet Hosea is using powerful imagery to illustrate the consequences of idolatry and disobedience to God. By likening God's judgment to that of a lion, leopard, and bear, Hosea is depicting the severity and ferocity of the punishment that will come upon the people who have turned away from God. The imagery of a lion devouring its prey emphasizes the destruction and devastation that will befall those who have strayed from God's will. The Bible that refer to Christ or God as a lion. For example, in the book of Revelation 5.5, 5, Jesus is referred to as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Additionally, in Hosea 13.7.8, God is likened to a lion because of his power and might. Lions are often used symbolically in the Bible to represent strength, power, and protection. It's important to reflect on 1 Peter 5.8, which warns us to be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. This serves as a cautionary message, emphasizing the need for clear thinking and sobriety. When our minds are clouded by substance abuse or other distractions, and let's not forget about anger, we are more vulnerable to making poor decisions that can have serious consequences in our lives, such as damaging relationships or facing legal trouble destroys marriages. It's crucial to maintain a clear mind and also control our emotions, especially anger, as unchecked emotions can provide openings for the devil to exploit. By pretending to be a lion, the devil seeks to deceive and intimidate us, hoping to assert authority over us. However, as bearers of God's image, we know that God is our ultimate protector, often symbolized as a lion. While the devil may try to mimic God's power, his authority over us is limited. Through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross, we have been given authority to overcome any challenges that come our way. The devil's power is derived from the influence we allow him through our thoughts, words, and actions. By aligning our senses and decisions with God's will, we can diminish the devil's influence recognizing his attempts to deceive and realizing that his authority is based on our compliance rather than any true power he possesses. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we humbly come before you now. We pray for discernment in the words we speak, recognizing that our words can unintentionally give the enemy authority over our lives. Help us to understand and embrace the authority and power we possess through serving you wholeheartedly. Lord, convict our hearts and minds to draw closer to you and to align our actions with your will. Grant us the strength and determination to turn away from anything that does not bring glory to your name. Guide us on a path to overcome our weaknesses, knowing that with you, all things are possible. We thank you, Lord, for this day and place it in your hands. May everything we do be for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.